Hello again. Um, someone asked me to show how I connected this MOSFET module to the board and to the power supply. In my case, to the heater blocks. These are the cables that go to the heater's resistance. Uh, some other people use it for the heated bed. So, um, the connections are pretty simple. So, there is on this side the connection that go to the um, power supply. So, they are pretty straightforward plus and minus, plus and minus. And on this side you get plus and minus, and they go to the heater block, so the heater resistance or the heated bed. So, in my case, since I'm not using a heated bed, I'm connecting two heater resistors per block. I have a dual pellet extruder. Each block, heated block, um, is uh, heated by two resistors. So, in my case, I connected uh, two wires per, per pin. Um, and here, too, there is plus and minus. Okay, you can see really good the plus and minus here but I'll, there are the labels so, so it's pretty easy to to see what they are now for the resistors uh, it doesn't matter plus or minus because it's just a resistor but for the heated bed it might matter so you have to check your um, your bed so you connect the plus to the plus and minus to the minus in the usual, usual way uh, so in my case here I'm since I have two resistors to to hit uh, the hot end, um, I will pull around 100 watts, between 80 and 100 watts, depending on which resistor we'll be using, if the 40 watts or the 50 watts. So um, the MOSFET here, uh, it might be uh, might get uh, pretty hot. So I might actually add some dedicated fan, so I will use uh, these are 12 volts uh, active cooling so just to make sure that these uh, MOSFETs are um, uh, they don't get too much uh, hot now the other side of the connection is this cable, the, this white cable that goes to the uh, board, in my case the SKR uh, Pro version 1.1 Now this cable is not really uh, clear if there is a plus or minus. There is a plus down here near this uh, LED I don't know if you can see right there So what I assumed is that this left this left side of the wire is the plus and so I connected this this side of the wire to the plus side of the so sorry uh, plus side of the um, the heated um, plug. Okay, there are two. I have dual extruder, so I have two connection. So one for one heater, one MOSFET for one heater and uh, the other one for the other one okay and why you want to use this kind of MOSFETs well if I'm pulling 100 watts from here uh, the MOSFET actually uh, acts as a switch so when the board when you're printing the board says uh, heat the heater one and this is just a signal cable so this one is switch on power comes from the power supply and goes to the heater resistor in my case or if you have the bed to the bed which means that this MOSFET actually is a switch basically and the 100 watts come from directly from the the power supply it doesn't go through the main board okay which means that you unload the board from high current so if you have a heated bed uh, uh, or the resistors in my case I'm pulling if it's 100 watts or 12 volts that's like uh, uh, what is 
88 amp basically which is you don't want to have it uh, on the board some people say oh, it's not necessary of course it's not necessary if you uh, you know if you don't care about the load uh, because they said there's the fuse but the fuse it only protects you from surge or from something going wrong but if something going wrong you don't wanna uh, blop your board this 40 bucks this guy's maybe two dollar I think I found it for one something uh, in my case I have two heaters so I have a higher load than uh, usual and I have two so it's just a precaution um, that helps you to uh, you know it's a safeguard let's say um, and of course it's better to blow up one of these guys than the, the, the main board if something goes wrong okay the other thing that I add to this are a bunch of uh, fans active fans to cool the board I actually plucked one right on top of the CPU um, I had this green uh, this green you can see the green um, heat sinks and on top of the heat sinks uh, I put a small fan a 12 volt fan and they actually work pretty good the other thing that I've done I add heat sinks underneath the board you can see a bit there, there are a few blue ones and a big one a green one and I'm going to put a fan directly to that those heat sinks too um, and then I have these big two fans on top of the board now this is just a, a temporary solution right now the box and stuff you some testing stuff uh, everything works be before I'm doing more um, more testing more extent extensive testing the other thing that someone asked me is how do you connect the, the motors and this is pretty simple behind each driver there is a connection where the motors are plugged into so usually what happens is you plug the motor and then in modeling you set the direction of the motor so what I suggest you to do is to test you plug the motor you see where does it spin if it's in the correct direction okay you're good to go if it's wrong direction you just change in modeling the the direction and that's it instead of switching the cables or maybe you you solder some cables and you know so that's it's much simpler to do on the softer side and I noticed some some motors they have um, the cables are basically the same but then when you plug the one goes in one direction one in the other so m probably inside the motor the the cables are not uh, connected equally okay so just to show you why I'm using again these MOSFETs I have two heaters and this cable go all the way to my extruder down here right here so each block has one resistor here and one resistor here now I had two temperature sensor so currently I'm using only one the one on the bottom which is closer to the nozzle I will have a one millimeter or maybe 1.2 millimeter nozzle in still uh, stainless steel and um, these cables are go all the way back to to those MOSFETs directly to the MOSFETs and um, yeah I think uh, hope, uh, hopefully it will, uh, will help somebody and if there are any questions maybe you can ask down in the description or in the comments of the, this video and the other thing I need to do is I made the bed which is kind of difficult to show because it's huge the bed is 1200 millimeter long so 1.2 meter and it's 800 millimeter large so 80 centimeter and basically it's a piece of wood with 
a sheet of, of metal on top of it and I'm going to add some PEI sheets these are you can attach with uh, with the with 3M tape double tape double face tape and I had uh, I think six to come because each one is like 30 30 40 centimeter uh, so I'm gonna need to add that I will clean this this surface with alcohol or something then I will put that and then I will do some testing for the bed leveling uh, I'm sure that it will not be super precise, but my my printing is is not like today the decimal of millimeter. You know, I'm printing with one one point two, maybe one point five millimeter. So I have less, you know, uh, precision needed requirements compared to other people. Hopefully, it helps again. And I'll see you next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.